So many different types of parties, everything from preschool proms, yes I did a preschool prom, high school proms, clubs, bars, weddings, million dollar weddings, corporate I've done so many things in my career and it's taught me to be able to play a wide variety of different music. I can play everything from house and electro to hip hop and reggae to rock and country, Latin pop, so many different things. And that is one of the things I believe makes a great DJ is someone that can take all these different genres and play them together seamlessly throughout the night and give the crowd what they need when they need it. You know, that's a skill that comes with time and experience. You just can't pick that up overnight. And a great place to get some of that experience are DJ battles. I love DJ battles. I mean, where else can you go and see DJs bring their A-game competitively, okay? I love the competitiveness of it, but more importantly, I love the community aspect of it, okay? Not only do you get to see these guys bring their A-game, but you also get to talk with them, network with them, talk shop, get inspired by them, because inspiration can come from so many different places. You know, it can come from greats like Kid Capri and Jazzy Jeff, or it can come from some kid who just bought Ableton two months ago and has learned how to do some cool, funky stuff on Ableton, and it's making me be like, I want to learn how to do cool and funky stuff on Ableton. You know, and while I'm talking about Ableton, let's talk about technology for a second, okay? Now, I'm rocking a pair of 1210 M3Ds, my Denon MC6000 controller, Track the Scratch Pro, okay? There's a lot of power here, okay? Technology is a wonderful, powerful tool that is allowing us as DJs to elevate our sets, allowing us to do in live in our DJ mixes what five years ago you could only do in the studio. We're doing it live. And that's a wonderful thing, but with things this powerful, there is the ability for it to be abused. And I think that's what we're seeing is with the newer DJs, they're coming in and they're using all this power not to elevate their game, but instead using it as a crutch to shortcut learning fundamentals. And when you use technology as a crutch, eventually it will get removed from you. And if you don't have good fundamentals, then you're going to crash and fall flat on your face. And we don't want to see anybody fall flat on their face. But DJs, let me let you in on a little secret, okay? All this technology right here, nobody cares about it other than other DJs, okay? Your crowd out there, the only thing they care about is what's coming out of those speakers. They don't care how you got there. They just want to know, are you giving them what they need, when they need it, and is it coming out of those speakers? That's all they care about, okay? So DJs, stop getting so tied up in this and get tied up in your crowd, get tied up in your music, Get tied up in the moment, because the moments are what count, okay? If you're so tied up and focused on this, that you miss that, then you missed it. You missed it. That moment is gone, and it's gone forever. You'll never get it back. Now, that's just me. That's my opinion, okay? And I'm just one me out of seven billion other me's. But I am the one and only DJ Highline, and that in itself makes me unique. Another thing that makes me unique is that I, am, that I am one out of three, okay? Because I am the next master of the mix. Don't you forget it. It's the truth. 